And I want to talk to you on the subject of faith. Amen. Uh, what is faith? Anybody know what faith is? Amen. Somebody said trusting in God. Wow. She must have heard my last message. Because some people trust in the things. But faith really is trusting in God. Amen. Amen. And we say, I got faith because uh, I need something in particular. Uh, how many of you know that we had a lot of people over the first period of, of our, uh, of the new move of God in this generation, when things was really happening like it did in the day of Pentecost, when faith was a big issue, when the word church was supposed to have been the popular church. They had come with a new identity. Really, they thought they had a new identity, but it really wasn't nothing. We all you know, talk the word anyway. All churches is, is about the word, but they thought that they only one had the word. They call it the word church. And I was wondering what they thought we were. We didn't have the word. You didn't have the word. Hello, somebody. The old pioneers didn't have the word. The word was already here from the beginning. So you really didn't have nothing spectacular. But what they did when they called themselves the word church, they added in something that they call faith. And all of their teaching was about faith. You've got to have faith. But it wasn't the faith in God. It was the faith in the things. Hello, somebody. I remember the time that uh, uh, some of the churches, when they were back then, they say, all you got to do is name it and claim it. And, and they start putting the name and claim uh, banner on their faith or the word church. It was all about naming and claiming. You can have whatsoever. You will. That's not true. Hello, somebody. And we lost a lot of people back to the world because they didn't have the power or they didn't have the knowledge of what they really were saying. And people left God because the name and the claim and the faith that they believed in didn't operate or did not work. And she said it. It was the faith in God, not in the stuff. Amen. And people went all over, was going all over the country, laying hands on their houses, laying hands on their cars. Hello, somebody. Laying hands on all the material things and claiming it. That, that, that's not faith. I got faith so I can go over here and name and claim it. That's not faith. The faith is God. It's in him that he causes the things to change. Hello, somebody. You don't have no power. Amen. Amen. And if there's anything operating in you, it comes from God. And people have to understand whatever I do. Yes, I have faith, but it's not in what I do. It is what God says about my life. And then I operate by faith in what his word says. And the only thing that I know that God said lay hands on was the sick. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He said, if any of you sick, call for the elders of the church, let them anoint you with oil. And anointing is touching you and praying over you. The Bible says, and they shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. Anybody got what I'm saying? So faith is believing in God. Want y'all to get that? Whatever you do, if you're trying to raise the dead, you have to believe that God is going to do it because of you. Now notice this. There must be your spirit or your relationship with God must be at A1 condition in order to move the mountains. Y'all hear what I'm saying? We got a lot of folk operating in the spirit 
of falsehood because they're not in the A1 condition with God to operate in the faith that they claim to have. That's why there are so many gimmicks involved. That's why so many people use so many gimmicks to trick folk. Hello, somebody. Amen. And they know that they can't do it because their relationship with God is not at A1. So now what they do is this. If you give me some money, they're going to get some out the deal. Hello, somebody. Then your children can be saved. How many of you know that money does not cause your family to be saved? It, yes, it, it is so, it is so mind-boggling. It is so disrespectful to the gospel, to those who really believe in God and don't have the money. Amen. Amen. How many know that the preachers, the evangelists, and the prophets will give you a prophecy and then tell you that you have to plant a financial seed? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, somebody in order for your results to be changed. That's not the word. I can't buy salvation. I can't buy healing. Amen. I can't buy my kids salvation. I can't pay for it. I'm going to look like giving God some money for what he died for. It's free. And the faith comes in him, trusting in him, not in me or the stuff. See, that's what I'm trying to get people to get in and fall in love with God. Yes. So then when they do speak to God in their moves. Hello, church. We, 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 we got it wrong. And we lose in a generation back to the world because it's not working for them. Now they're angry at God because their life haven't changed around. And the only way your life is going to change is through faith. Not because you can preach, not because you can sing, not because you can dance, not because you can shout. I don't care how big your building is, you're going to have to have faith in God. Amen. So you got to, and faith is just merely believing that God can do anything. And because you are a vessel of his, he uses you. To get his operation done. Hello somebody. Jesus said this. He said when you see me. You see my father. He said and I came to go about my father's business. Y'all know the word. He never put anything on him. He said, he, said, he said when Lazarus was in the grave. Look what Jesus did. The savior. He prayed to God. He said, for the sake of the people, you got the power to give me the words to say to the dead corpse and it'll come alive. And then he said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus got up from the grave because he blessed God. Look at this. He took five loaves of bread and two fishes or whichever came first, the fishes or the bread. And there were 5,000 people plus their family, women and children and, and, and men and women. And it might have been 15,000 people according to my account, and it could have been more. But Jesus said, what do you have? He said, I just got the fish and I got the bread. He said, bring them to me. Now look what Jesus did. Now I'm trying to get this in, in the saint's heart. He took it from the disciples and he brought it to the Father and he blessed it. Why would he bless it to the Father when he could have just laid hands on it himself? Anytime you've given yourself more credit than you give God, it won't work for you. 